This is definitely the first time we're recording this. Yep, it's definitely the first time. Hey, I'm, look at that clear sky. There's no dark clouds in it. Isn't that weird in the game called oh, Dark Clouds? Oh, yeah, see, it's like Dark Cloud. I call it everyone else, and I'm first in the time travel. Yeah, see, that's that's just what normal people talk like when they're recording things for the first time. Just so you know, Internet, that's how you identify someone. All the rest of the ones we've done, all of them have been multiple takes, clearly, you because, you know, we didn't that get that tone. Did you guys realize that the ride pod is very easy? But some well, bosses... really, I, did, I didn't know about that, Rick. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Gotta turn the right pod on, Morty. More. I forgot if I mentioned before that Rick and, Rick and Morty's Japanese VAs are the same VAs for a Shinji and a Gendo Akari. Oh my god. Now that you mention it, I do remember that. Get in the ride pod, Shinji. <laughs> Go on, Shinji, get in the ride pod. Your dad loves you. Get in the ride pod. Shinji, Shinji, you gotta get in, the, get in, get in this. You know, oh, gee, geez, dad, to... I don't know. I, I don't know about getting in that ride pod there. Shinji. Shinji, Shinji, if you if you don't get in the right pot, Ray's gotta get in the right pot. You know, yeah, she's all broke. They don't, we don't grow Ray. Okay, we do grow Ray's on trees, but you're not supposed to know about that. <laughs> Damn it! I'm Ray and I'm. Oh God, can we just Look not? Oh <laughs> no, no! I hate this timeline. Oh line. God! That hurt my throat to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> I think my computer screen crashed. Goodbye. Oh no, we gotta we gotta fight the Bara Dragon. So, so genuine thing that you missed out on the last one, but I just want to point out how, like, ninety percent of Donnie's requests for these scoops are just involving getting us owned, like completely. Well, hi there, Max. What if you just take a picture of this dragon when it's firing hellfire at your face? I'm just gonna point out this dragon is fucking like fucking oh, yeah, built like a fuck. brick shit house. Yeah, I know it. Like this is the most. This is. If, if if you asked me if you asked me what furry bara was, I would post up a picture of this fucking dragon. Listen. All right, I think I can be Listen, a dragon this, slayer. This Max dragon. says before entering the level, then he stares it down and says, "Oh no, he's hot." Listen, <laughs> listen, that dragon only fucks muscle cars. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, my favorite part of that of that meme is that somebody made a fucking uh, marble engraving of a dragon fucking a car. Listen, they just they just see those things from. Like, I wonder when... where that started from, because there was a thing of a giant like monster fucking a truck from uh, one of uh, Christopher Moore's a, books a while there's back. A, there was from somebody's deviant art. They just had a gallery that was full of dragons fucking cars, like that was their thing. And then it, then there's somebody made a separate about it. important question, since you know about this, was it any good? Was there art any good of this? It was okay. I mean, yeah, like, you, I guess, is it on the good on the scale of the the denim uh, fox tour, where like there's a lot of technical <sighs> craft involved? It's just the subject matter is fucking weird. No, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't just like trash art as well. Like I, I appreciate it a lot. I mean, Max, more. if you want to, you can you can look up the source I for don't. dragons fucking you cars. You see, you need to understand that. I really don't. Let's instead. I will say that. Yeah. So the thing is, they they have they have decent dragons and they have decent and they have a decent car. And I'm going to say that vehicles are very very hard to draw. Oh no, agreed. Despite how they're uh, just basic geometry. Uh, also, <laughs> I would like to note the ride pod cannot summon a Satan. And this is an important thing we have learned today. Uh, let, uh, another fun fact for you, uh, Akira Toriyama uh, fucking loves drawing tractors. Which is why they show up in Dragon Ball a lot. Why is our sword a keyblade? It's the forest owl. Listen, there can only be one keyblade master. Oops, I lied. There can be like <laughs> this 20 of them. <laughs> What if just everyone is? Your, your neighbor down the street, your best friend from school, that one guy who smiles at you and, and you got the best thing out. is, Burst by Fleet have proven that has always been the case. There's been a ton of Keyblade Masters. God, Kingdom Hearts has the worst timeline. I hate it so much. Listen, Xanhort and or Asm founded Organization 13 so he could put 13 clones of himself in an organization, and the whole nobody thing was just an accident of that. Yep. No, I know a lot about Kingdom Hearts lore because I read it after, you know, playing the first ones and liking them as a t 
19 and then realizing, oh, wait, no, most of them are bad, actually. <laughs> I feel like if we keep this conversation up at the pace we're going, Zach is just going to appear. He's just going to spawn Zach, from the ether and be Zach like, Zach actually. or Nate to, to, gl- to gush about how good uh, Verify <laughs> Fleet was. <laughs> we converted into frog for that sweet, sweet experience. <laughs> I still love that frog. I love the, I love the fucking froggy run. Also, I can <laughs> see why the challenge here is to intimidate the barrels away. I can see why this, why the challenge for this stage is ride pod because just everything is huge enemies. Yep. <laughs> I presume we'll be back later to do challenges. Just to run through them quick once we get high level ex- equipment. Also, man, this Masked Tribesman is, uh, is he, like, resistant to Monica's sword? Because he takes, like, a million hits from it. I forget. I don't have my Prima strategy guide in um, front of me at, right at now. At that point where it shows, like, 16 to 15, that is pretty low for sword, so I presume he's either resistant to Slash or just resistant to other elements currently. I just know that Max can drop sword. him in about four hits. I get... Got that lava egg. I will hug the egg. Oh no, I hugged lava. I am dead now. Send help. I still love Yo-Yo Burl. Yo-Yo Burl. And his excellent tunes. You can play a violin like no one else. I think we made that joke before, but you made, you, you, it was I that made the yo-yo ma. These guys are tough. <laughs> yeah, look at how hard that guy was. Also, what's going on? Are you thirsty? Yes. Because like, I got hit by fire. Yep. It roasted out all your fucking water. And I water can't and find now any water around here. Thirsty is actually a really rough status ailment. It's part of the reason why you don't eat bananas given the chance. Because bananas in this game make you thirsty. <laughs> Wait, what? Why did bananas cause thirst? Well, you it's see, actually... they, eat them, they eat them in the way that they eat them in uh, Sea of Thieves. <laughs> you just chug the entire banana <laughs> chug. Just stuff that peel right down your throat. Um, <laughs> but no, like kind of like not exactly starch of banana generally in uh, I've found does make people a little thirsty even if it contains water in it. A lot of foods do that anyway. Yeah, um, I mean, that's the thing. I Most, mean, beer like, if you is mostly get, if you water wanna... and it makes you thirsty. Yeah, exactly, because the poison in it. Yeah, I mean, if you want to um, get if, if you want to get IRL, like, you shouldn't eat stuff without drinking stuff. Like, that's the survival guide. If you eat anything, it will make you thirsty. L- yeah, listen. But so, so, anyway, I mean, like, it, it is a little silly that compared to, like, bread and things, those don't make you thirsty, but whatever. They decided on making that the one. L- l- listen. Can, can you, in fact, take the saltine challenge in Dark Cloud? Uh, if that is bananas, then yes, and you will always fail. Listen, bleach is mostly water. We're mostly water. <laughs> God damn it. Have you ever tried to drink a human? <laughs> Just stick a straw on him. Um, Have you ever tried to drink a man? But, but like, genuinely speaking here... Um, Thirst as a status ailment is just awful because all it is is, hey, what if you can't eat any food because you're just too dang thirsty? Ugh. And so that means, hey, what if you just I mean, didn't feel I've like ever getting health back again? Like that, where I dehydrated myself through, or well, at least got my mouth a little dry for eating too many chips, and I did not want to eat anything at, what, during that point. Just wanted to, just wanted to get. Well, some, there's a scientific uh, proof. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, so why, why, do you, why do you eat the? Cloud. And always Why fail. would you eat the bananas if they do? If they kind of fuck your day up like that, then you generally the... won't. They're like an emergency food. Like it's like, oh fuck, I ate everything else in my inventory. I guess this is going down my gullet. Listen, Matt. If evolution is real, real, why is uh, bananas? Bananas are natural. Uh, well, I mean, they, I mean, they're all dying now because they're all clones of each other, and there's a there's a disease that's killing the current banana specimen we have. So scientists are rapidly trying to breed a new banana that we can start cloning again. I really wish I could have tasted the old school banana. Like, those seem really co- interesting to try, but, or you know, they're gone. We're not, you know, we're paying too much attention to our iPod and not as much attention to the Lord. Very good. <laughs> Here you are. 
hot takes from Charlie. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I do. You can't um, hug, have room for Jesus with nuclear arms. I really wish I had gotten a like chance in my lifetime, you know, to taste the old school banana that they used to have. Because, like, you know the artificial banana taste and, like, banana candies and things? Like, that apparently is what bananas used to taste like. Huh. That's why it tastes so unlike regular banana. Well, right, I'm, yeah. on, I'm a paleo dietist, and I don't believe in eating any food that's been touched by the hands of man. <laughs> you just gotta lean over and eat it all up with your mouth. God, that room, if I can't this, graze it off the ground, it's not edible. Yeah. Honestly, like, that's a thing that I, um, there was, man, somebody, one of my friends had a cookbook that was, like, hyper paleo, that it was the, um, it was the cookbook that, uh, said that cooking food is bad for you. I, I mean, also, like, it, a lot okay. of paleo, I guess it's more right in that a lot of paleo diet be about the fact that most of everything we eat has been domesticated in some form. Unless it's, you know... It's you... one of the reasons yeah. why a lot of paleo diets won't let you eat potatoes, because of the fact that at the time there weren't really any domesticated nightshades. Because potato is a fucking... Because potatoes in their natural state are fucking poisonous, and yep. that we... most nightshades that... are, including, like, tomatoes. And some ancient Incans did some potato magic to make them edible. Which is also weird, because, like, that's... I know sweet potato brownies are a thing because of paleo. I don't know about the exact, like, situation of relation to sweet potatoes to regular potato Oh, those sweet potato potatoes family. are, like, yams? Are they, like, actually I don't, potatoes? I, yeah, I'm curious if yams actually are a nightshade or not. Uh... Our potato diet is just one of those uh, groups of people that eat, drink, on, on a uh, drink uh, unpasteurized milk or like is there any overlap between those two things I'm, I imagine the raw I food movement probably overlaps pretty strongly with the yeah. paleo movement in fact yeah I know that um, I know that the rest the, a couple of the paleo recipes I looked up are like get like raw honey and like hey uh, how about I remember you they introduce had... a lot of bacteria into your body that's what the old people used to do and they used to get infected and die and that's what I think you should do with your life I'm a doctor slash scientist <laughs> I, I, I can fit my doctor... whole fist into my mouth <laughs> check it Don't out you really just like one of them cavemen Gulch. if I'm elected president I'll, I'll go into a cave for four years four years and not bother everyone Ah, uh, rip ball. <laughs> oh man, Ron Paul. The hero we neither needed nor deserved. <laughs> oh, not oh, only that put almost a wall around Mexico, I will put a wall around every Mexican citizen. Boys, men, women, children, walls for all! Uh, I feel like that's from something because I'm pretty sure you've said that before. I'm assuming it's a reference. It's a reference to a old essay flash dub about 9/11 conspiracy theorists that was just intercut with promo with uh you know promotional be uh videos for Dr. Ron Paul. <laughs> the Ron Paul Revolution. Ron Ron Revolution. Let's get yeah. rid of everything. So what do we learn here? Uh, I mean, we're currently at the stage of the game that is oh, we're pretty about to go slow. Into a very important area, I think. Oh, we might. Oh no, not we'll yet. See. But we're we'll soon. See. Uh, yeah, but a lot of Dark Cloud Two slows down from regular dungeon to dungeon areas. Um, it's the sort of thing like the reason we're able to say all this ridiculous shit is because of the fact that we have to do a lot of just going through, picking up the items inside, picking up the things that unlock new abilities to make stuff in our fancy lava eggs. Right, yeah. And we're um, like, and we, have to, come build, back, we build have to build the, the future. Yeah. Like, it's really actually pretty subtle and interesting gameplay. It just is long to do. So that's yeah, why it's just we also hit... kind of tedious. Exactly. There yeah. is tedium and it is delayed, but at the same yeah, time, Yeah, I chose a good game to LP is what you're saying. 
<laughs> yep, definitely 100%. I mean, it's definitely a good game to LP for the sake of uh, just getting to have time to talk like idiots constantly. There's our podcast dudes in the background of... Also, can Sheriff Flinkhorn still wants exact... I, I wants a fucking gate. Gate They'll so break can in if there's no gate there, sir. They can just hop over. No, Listen. I don't think you understand. If they have hop over it, I can then shoot them out of the sky, just like one of them birds I shoot all the time. Listen, that, that's if a I don't have a gate, how can I keep I can... all the women with swords out? <laughs> sir, there's only it's one my own of, property. If they there's only that two gate. of them. One is on the train, and the other one's the one helping you build this house. No, all of them. I don't trust them. There's some real bad ombres. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep them right, out of the wall. Right now we brought law and order to this one specific mesa. Those other ones can die law in hell. This mesa first. <laughs> All right, we have the magician girl with us. There's only like three cops in the world, and one of them, them lives all the way over here. In like a, it's a, his own isolated peninsula. Yeah, that never stops being funny to me. If this is just well, Good. we have this one town surviving amongst everything, this little idyllic piece of paradise. Guess we better ship it out, and so like only a couple people live there, and everyone else is in these weird, stranded colonies across the world. Hey, c c civilization isn't gonna rebuild itself, man. The part yeah. that makes it even crazier is on this particular one. It's not like there's bridges between the platforms. You actually only yeah. can get there Listen, by turning you just, into oh, the... Oh, you, yes, when you need to get somewhere, you hold out a, a, a ribeye steak, and the fucking <laughs> condor will take you where you need to go. Man, public transit has gotten real rough in recent times. Well, and I just mean, make sure you have more steaks when, than, what you, than you had when you left, so you don't run out. But also enough so you can occasionally eat some, too. Help, all I have is primo chicken. I'm stuck here forever. Oh, this is a different place. We don't, yeah, there's no people here. This is the weapon shop. We just unlock it by putting a cop here. Thanks, Great Crest. Also, I really wonder where the moon people's ears go when their hoods are up. In the hoods. Yeah, down to that point at the back. Come on. Yeah. That seems it's like, like it would be like uncomfortable. It's like one of those dread uh, dreadlock hats. Well, you don't have ears that those big, Matt. Big ears that, yeah. I guess, yeah. I haven't, I haven't tried growing giant rabbit ears and bending them back. <laughs> Look, yeah. my dude, or the hiding inside, them in a giant blue. You don't understand shock of hair. that that is a comfort designed hood, carefully made, crafted for such good rabbit ears, ribbed for her pleasure. All right, we have the concept of weapon. Ra e rabbit ear hoods. You can find them at baddragon.com. <laughs> so if we make a weapon out of a barrel. This seems like it's going to be a ride pod parts. No. No, and what makes you think that? The fact that most of the things we invent are ride pod no, weapons? we're just going to be a donkey no, the, no, the fact that it's made of barrel. I fucking forgot that. Okay, okay. Yeah, we okay. Also, also want to point out, China exists, also Japan exists. Yep. Japan is also very sweet. When are we going to build those machine gun arms, though? We haven't yet built my favorite weapon that you can get at this point in the game, but we'll see if we do it at some point. Oh man, we can buy golf clubs in the future. I'm a big proponent of ranged ride pod weapons, because some of them are really stupid. Well, also, the ride pod can circle strafe, which seems like it's yes, very, very strong. you can circle strafe weapons. while firing, so... Also, why do we have a giant fist dildo? Oh, that's the, uh, that's the, the thing that you, the weapon that you can use to steal from stuff, grab things. It's the very what? angry statue arm. Like, you ever wonder why the Venus de Milo is that way? Because <laughs> Max is a fucker, doesn't appreciate Oops. fine art. Matt. There we as, go. Right. As we fade no, that's into a, the void. I forgot that was the thing. It does. I forgot that's the thing. I put the transition on, and then it was a fade. So it was already white. 
I could probably just do a cross dissolve, but I like the dark cloud transition. <laughs> Now That's what I have that saved as an After Effects, area. by the way. Sweet. First we save. Let's go meet Yorda. Are we gonna... Do we gonna save her from the Shadow People? Are we gonna have to tell her how to go down a bridge? Go down some stairs? No, 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 Yorda's a tree. Okay, well, that's at least more manageable. Mm. Yep, that's a tree, all right. What a huge tree. <laughs> Max, you it's have seen tree. bigger. They say it's wow, seen it's, bigger that's a and large more tree. Talkative. Smaller than that flower I stood on. First time I've ever seen it, though. Wow. I didn't think it would be this You have big. seen and talked to bigger trees. You have shopped inside a bigger tree. So where's this tree's nose, he says, trying to root around. Hey, this tree's full of ideas, though. Yeah. Cool tree, bro. Oh, there we go. You know what else that gives you ideas? Dreams. I can't take photos of dreams, though. Oh, can we? Can't you? Ah! No! Lynn! Apparently she agrees with you, Matt. She doesn't think you can take pictures of dreams, either. Yeah, see, she's, she's very outside. emphatic about it. Like, she was, like, really upset. Master, why do you want to be a sage? Because time was already That's a good taken. Question. Maybe because everyone respects them, treats them like royalty. Also, I like that he wears a robe, but also has a sweater hey, tied around his right. waist. Don't you mean something like? Look, so all right, being being rich is still important in the future, and you need to show <laughs> off your too. asshole style. Although, to be fair, she's wearing a robe and has a sweater tied around her fucking I neck. Be the kind of person who can put everyone else at ease. It's a sailor uniform. Come on, man. Everyone can count on a sage. With a dependable person nearby, danger is always far away. That's what a sage is. Don't you think you'd want someone like that near you? Someone to count on? Yeah, I do. My hometown was an easy target for the thieves that came from the desert. No, there's no desert area in this game. Never knowing when they would strike next. Yeah, well, all the thieves live there. As a child, Where'd you go I there? Wondered, Isn't there so I often wondered, there why the fuck did they have stocks? so many knives? What about the sages I read about in fairy tales? Where are they? I mean, in fairy well, tales, dude. I was about to find out. It was when the thieves were plundering the village one day. I was gonna point out this guy has the same backstory as like every like beginner OC. To defeat the raiders one by one and defend the village. He wanted to be a big cool guy and save his village that was having problems, but then a different big cool guy came up and did it and was like, "Hey, I believe in you," and he's cool. I'll become one. The end. My OC. Sage the Hedgehog. A sage is a person who can defend others just by being there. He said. Just by being there. Is that even possible? That's what I, I can't. Want to do. I've never been anywhere in my if life. I can. <laughs> so that sage was my. I've never life. just been there. I've had to like try really hard to be there. Sages are great Existing people. is a conscious effort. Life is pain, Lynn. Understand so, my struggle. If you can use a lot of magic, then you can be a sage. No, I yep, didn't say it. that at all. You that wasn't even the that. rules I explained. Yeah. Come on, Lynn. Shut up. You need to exist and make the world better. <laughs> no, you're not me. How you're do right. you like tape I'm here? not you. I'm a tape in. It's a memo eater. So that's it, huh? <laughs> Powerful tape here. Memo eater? I love this that's thing. Right. I fucking I love it's, it's so good. 
<laughs> Look at that nose. <laughs> That's my favorite boy. So you're He's asking if we could take pictures of dreams. <laughs> well, this, this is chode. a dream eater. <laughs> I love like those layers of flab that make him look like an accordion. All right, let's go. Bye, Lynn. I don't want to deal with this thing. It's gross. <laughs> Phantom Memo Eater. Man, that was a rare scoop, too. Yeah, because it's a boss and it's only one time obtainable. Yeah. Sure. Man, you're just punking him so real hard. So what if we just shot this, like, ghost tapir with lasers? Well, these are lasers from the future. They came out of a tree's nose. Nice quick kill. I don't need to, like, run an RPG in, like, a Dark Cloud 2 setting so that situations like that can happen. <laughs> I We're gonna shoot this phantom tapir with lasers so that we can then take this person back to see the duck doctor that made them okay. It was under this tree that my the duck doctor was named after chicken. Look, my dude, I can appreciate brand loyalty, but there's other types of toothpaste out there. You gotta save Master Rembrandt. Listen, fucking, the cavity creeps are gonna come, and we need a sage that will be protect us from the cavity creeps just by being there, applied onto us, if you will. Look, all right, I don't think Sage Crest is gonna take off. Just stick with Min. <laughs> Holes, holes, holes! <laughs> oh man, old cell robot. We got a lot of scoops. Yeah. Hmm, Jurak. Oh man, I briefly saw a telescope, distinctly different than a peepin' pole. <laughs> I hate that term so much. The great All right, we got tree. We have another different tree. Yeah. We have thinking man's tree. We have dream eating tree, and we and have a, a thing box. made out of trees. We have a box of tree. Right, tree murder. <laughs> Perfect. Say <laughs> Oh man, we could actually build this. Yep, just we need a little more of the resources, but that's not a problem. You remember we found this recipe, I think we found this recipe way back in the get beginning. Yeah, geez. Also, man, this was in a huge arena for how simple that boss fight was. Listen, who knows, maybe the player will go all the way back when fighting the, the tapir. Listen, Matt, they wanted to give you options. You could either tape here or tape there. You could tape anywhere. With our new handheld cassette recorders. <laughs> Brand <Whoa>. new. <laughs> 2017 exclusive. You've never seen Whoa, anything like this. 80s. Donnie just gets more and more frustrated the more times he realize we didn't die from doing these ridiculous pictures. Oh yeah, we still don't, yeah, we only have the bullseye coin. Again, we can buy the other ones. They're just expensive and like he's not that. Aren't they like in the future? Yeah. Is that where we can buy them? Yeah, in the Jurak tree uh, area, you can just buy them out of his nose. <laughs> Hooray for Rockman! Hooray! <laughs> So are the question mark ones like ones we have not even encountered yet? I assume so. 
Yeah, like that we don't even have like the Donnie's hot hints for scoops. Donnie's hot scoop hints. Call in now. one 900 donny 7 Give me a double scoop of that there hot tip. Hot Donnie. <laughs> you you call hot that Donnie number tips. and you just hear like a uh, fucking uh, a bunch of uh, It's just a tutorial for photographs. It's just, it's just like a yeah. banjo. It's just a banjo sound over them saying give me money. No, it's a banjo you know, that's sound, when... sound in the distance in a sewer. <laughs> you know, that's, um, I'm not gonna lie, like, uh, so last year when I was going to Gen Con, I was trying to get an Uber ride down to, uh, down to the Metro, down to the Greyhound station, and, uh, Uber was down, so I looked up, like, alright, Uber support number, and I found one on Google, and I called it up, and it led to this automated message that just said, hey, Uber doesn't have a report, doesn't have a, a support number. Fuck y'all, suckers. And then it just hung up. <laughs> okay. And I haven't Googled to see if it's still listed as the support number, but if it is, if you see an Uber support number, do call I'll say, it. So this girl is constantly fading, and Dr. Dell does not know what the fuck. Clearly, she has a tape here inside her. No, no, no. Monica know, knows about brain yeah, science. Yeah. <laughs> no, Monica knows about time science. You have a temporal distortion within you. Here, let me hit you with this golf club. No, we need to we need to stop this girl's fainting fits by playing <laughs> golf. Yep. So this is the re this is the main reason other than the rewards you get for golf to do golf. If you uh, succeed right, at enough yeah. golf uh, golf holes, she'll end up joining you because she'll feel better. Okay. I thought we just had to beat her with the golf club until she fell into a distortion. No, that would be bad. No, yeah, we need to fix the distortions, not toss more things into them. Classic mistake. I mean, if we just toss things into them, uh, we'll just send all our garbage to the future and not have to worry about it. I mean, actually, that's a pretty good strat. Make the future worry about it. They're going to do that anyway, but now we don't have to think about it. Or we could send it to the past and turn into, like, uh, fuel, fossil fuels. Fossils. Yeah, we throw it we throw it into the distortion in the past and then it's there but a fossil, so we throw the fossil into the past. Print that black hole right there, hells yeah. Alright, so that's all these schemes come to justice. Alright, that's so it. So next time it's gonna be a lot of golf. Yeah, well next time I think I need to actually record again. <laughs> oh man. Alright, well I guess that's it for Exciting. now. Exciting. I'm Ryan, I'll be I'm expendable. Okay, goodbye! You. <laughs>